ask Robot Scout to move forward. Ask Robot Scout to turn left. So as you know from my previous video, the Vuzix Blade um, smart glass actually has the Amazon Alexa integration on it. So that's really good news. Therefore, I mean, as I'm, this is amazing because as I was talking about Amazon Alexa, Vuzix actually showed uh, the Amazon Alexa uh, page on it. So let's see if that can control uh, Morbot because as you know, Morbot has the robot skill under Amazon Alexa to move and take pictures and so on. So let's try that on. So press the button. Ask Robot Scout to move forward. Did you see that? Okay, let's try another one. Ask Robot Scout to move right. Whoa, okay, let's try the other way. Ask Robot Scout to turn left. Okay. Brilliant. Ask Robot Scout to move backwards. I don't think this is going to work. Okay. It goes forward. Anyway, so there needs to be development on that side, but I think it can also take picture as well. So let's try that one. Ask Robot Scout to take a picture. So technically it's a capture. Now, the most important thing. Ask Robot Scout to show the picture. Ask Robot Scout to show the camera. No, let's try again. Ask Robot Scout to show the camera. So it says have a nice day for some reason and um, I think it's because um, I do know for sure that Robot Scout can actually show the camera live on the Amazon Echo and those sort of the ones with the screens on but I don't think at this stage um, you know Scout has the ability to do that to the uh, Vuzix Smart Glass Blade at the moment so that's a bit unfortunate actually but um, we're still in a development stage. I don't think it's down to, um, you know, Mobot Scout Robot. It's purely down to the integration on how Fusex actually can accept it on their side. I think that's how I'm um, understanding it. But obviously the team Fusex could actually say that, no, it's not their fault. It's down to the uh, application or app and so on. So obviously there is no app available uh, that is able to use a uh, robot scout. We got the one on the on the smartphone, but if you consider having a smart glasses like uh, Vuzix, it is another new world of another um, territory of you know app store. If you see what I mean. Oh, actually, Vector, you can do it. Alexa, ask robot scout to move forward. Okay. There you go. So if you go to Amazon Alexa page, there's a skill. Hang on, Vector, hang on, Vector. Um, there's a skill under uh, Robo Scout, okay? So if I go to the skill, there's the Robo Scout page. So the actual word is to say, um, show my robot scout, okay, so here we go. Show my robot scout. It says shop, no, no. Let's try that again. Show my robot scout. So it keeps saying, it's asking whether I'm going to uh, shop for robot. No, no. So basically all the directions are working very well. Uh, still, if you ask robot scout to move forward, it will go um, so if you ask Robot Scout to go backwards, it will go forward. So there's no going backwards 
settings properly set up yet. But what, what I'm really trying to achieve here is to have the camera set up that I can see within my uh, Vuzix smart glasses, blade smart glasses, but that doesn't seem to be possible. I don't know how to work it out. It seems to be some sort of like an expert programmer who can set things up. But the other hand, uh, Mobot is also promised to be able to work under um, Google Home or Google Assistant as well. So you can see that there's a lot of potentials what we could explore with the uh, smart glasses, with the robots or smart robots that is available in the market at the moment. Just so you know, I don't come from an IT background. I come from an architecture background. I've got no, zero relations with IT or coding and etc. I really do want to um, learn it, but I'm actually more than 40 years old now, so probably it's too late, but you're never late. Obviously, I need to spend a bit more time on coding, but this is what I can do as my best at the moment. But bear in mind that um, Robot Scout, Scout can actually project or show the live camera on the Amazon products like Echo uh, Dot with the screens on and, and so on. And I'm, st I'm actually in a communication with the mobile company trying to explore what more I can do with the integration of the uh, Vuzix uh, Blade product indeed. So please do um, bear, bear with me with all these updates and so on. Um, but this is an interesting time, people. We can actually control already with using a smart glass with your um, smart home robot. That's the most important thing at the moment. This is just the beginning, people. Imagine in the future, you'll be able to see exactly what your robot is seeing and you'll be able to voice command or you could like, you know, basically move together as like one body, not like physical one body, but like, you know, like a friend or body, something like that. So um, I hope this video gave you a bit of an insight. Again, it's a very early stage, but let's see how it goes. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.